The use of capital punishment here in Colorado could soon be coming to an end. State lawmakers may introduce a bill this week to repeal the death penalty. And Denver 7's Gary Broad explains why families of murder victims are pushing for this repeal while others are fighting to keep the law in place. The ACLU calls the death penalty expensive, ineffective, and an unjust process. Today, they released a 60-page report outlining their reasons to get rid of capital punishment. And based on recent public backing, they may get their wish. Three women. And my brother, Willie Frazier, was murdered in 2005. Three tragedies. Um, my brother, Bruce Vanderjat, was a Denver police officer who was murdered 22 years ago. All seeking justice without death. I'm thankful that that young man didn't get the death penalty. Alice Randolph's son, Lauren, was killed 10 years ago. Her son's murderer received life in prison. Randolph says with her son's killer avoiding the death penalty, her family now has a chance to heal. I have 10 grandchildren as of today, and I don't want them to know Lauren for that reason. I want them to know my son because of the memories we share with them. There's a whole different perspective once you've actually um, been involved. State Representative Tom Sullivan's perspective changed when his son Alex was killed in the Aurora movie theater shooting. Since 2012, Sullivan says he's been in favor of capital punishment. While he wants to keep it a state law, he is open to changes. But he questions other politicians' willingness to meet in the middle. There's been no conversation whatsoever about fixing the problem, which is the death penalty. They've just sat back and waited until they got full control and then they're just ready to throw it out. There hasn't been an execution in Colorado in more than two decades. Only three people are currently on death row in the state. One of them is convicted of killing Senator Rhonda Fields' son and fiance. I will never see him married. I will never have grandchildren from him. All of that was taken away from me. 21 states around the country have done away with the death penalty. If we become 22, Representative Sullivan worries about the next major tragedy. I'm not going to be the one to tell those parents um, that they can't have uh, the justice um, that they want. And that's what you would be telling them. If you throw this out. That ACLU report states that the death penalty discriminates against minorities as well as people living in poverty. A similar bill was introduced into legislation last year, but it was pulled due to a lack of backing. Could be a different story this year. In the newsroom, Gary Broad, Denver 7.